you are watching The Advocate on PLUS TV Africa. Storytelling surely comes into its own with the art of presenting a 3D perspective. The single story of Nigeria's borrowing plan. It was Chimamanda Adichie who warned us of the danger of a single story. The ongoing discussions about Nigeria's borrowing plan of 30 billion US dollars for critical infrastructure reminds one of this danger. It is true that the absolute number of our debt is low for a nation as big as ours. It is also true that our debt to GDP ratio is very low. Thus, we should be able to borrow if we want. This story is a favorite for government. However, it is just one story and there is another. The other part which government doesn't like to talk about is how is this debt going to be repaid? Debts are repaid from revenue. And the government itself had mentioned over and over again that our revenue is very poor. As it is today, depending on how much of the projected revenues we achieve, the existing debt service could be anything, anything between 25% and 60% of the entire revenue. The rest is barely enough to pay salaries. Debts are not repaid from GDP. They are repaid from revenues, which we don't have. This is the conundrum. The true solution to a problem does not lie in tell it, telling only part of the story. Rather, we should put all the cards on the table. My advocacy is that government should not just present a borrowing plan. It should also present a supporting revenue plan, detailing how it intends to repay. Yeah, I mean, how can anyone disagree with what you're saying? I think Africa, we, we've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese looking to invest. We've seen what they've done in other countries. If you don't repay your debt, they will just take colonize over. you. Yeah. They will take over important infrastructure, important things. Which countries have this? Where's, Kenya. No, it's Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. It's Zambia or Mozambique. They're places. If you Google it, you'll find it. They've done quite a bit. They've taken over their, their, their seaports or their airports or whatever. So the dangers are there. And so whenever I hear that Nigeria is borrowing, my heart already you know, gives up because I just know that A, we'll borrow the money. We're not to get the revenue. is We're supposed to plow that money we borrowed mm -hmm. into whatever it is that we're trying to build that will generate that revenue. But if we're not doing Doing that, where's that revenue going to come from? So now what they've done is they've decided that the only way to get revenue in Nigeria is uh, the crude oil or taxing. Yeah. So that is really it. So we now know that it's either we are, that we're the ones that are going to suffer or future generations are going to suffer. But, but, but um, really, so, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, um, thank God. I wanted to talk about this this week. <laughs> um, I also wanted to detail all of the borrowings mm -hmm. at every time from 1999 to date. Uh, you find out that it's always, like you said, it's always very convenient for government to give you a one-sided story, story of the borrowing plan. And then we also need to also have a clear picture of the internally generated mm -hmm. revenue, both from crude, from taxes, from the seaports. So let's and then just oppose them mm -hmm. with the infrastructure. Yes, we have infrastructural deficit. And like the African Development Bank has said, we need a hundred billion uh, dollars yeah. annually to be able to bridge Close the gap. Yeah. Wow. But what we are basically do, doing, like um, I had listened to um, uh, Chief Henry Boyo, God rest his soul, just died. Um, and uh, this former CBN Deputy Governor, um, um, Melifa. Um, and that what we are basically doing is to borrow to feed, mm -hmm. borrow to service. Mm -hmm you know, recurrent expenditure. Yeah, sure. and, and so that's why you still have that infrastructural gap. And that's why when government tells you they want to borrow, they, they, nobody tells you the repayment plan. Not too long ago, a president came and said, look, he needed approval for $1 billion to buy arms to fight uh, uh, Boko Haram. $1 billion is spending one, uh, 365 naira to a dollar is 1 billion naira per day. Mm. Wow. And nobody's talking about Imagine all of this. That. All of this money will be repaid. It will be repaid. Whether we like it or not. And so if, like you said, if the, yes, if the, if the revenue is not commensurate to what you are borrowing, no matter how big you are, you, you will just continually be in debt. So, so, and so, someday you'll be back. So, okay, so uh, there are two things that come to my mind. One is, even if they told me that they were going to tell 
declare their revenue? Would I even trust the figures? So, for example, the, there's a recent thing I heard about, the Open Treasury. They're trying to sell us a sweetener. I don't know if you've come across that, okay. where you can go online and you can see all the monies coming in and out, opentreasury.com. Yeah. The governments are trying to offer us a palliative in and the light of the whole... Any amount spend every but day. But if you don't trust, if people are awarding yeah, the themselves pension, and, and, and you know that their heart is really to secure themselves and not you, mm. would you still trust them? Even if they told you, isn't it the figures they put on that exactly. database that you have you to have assess to them on? So, you know, if they're going to buy a house secretly, are they going to declare that? You mm. will never know that. So that's a problem for me. So even when we're talking about the government declaring figures. I would rather there was an objective like JP Morgan Chase, an external body who would supervise mm -hmm. this, this so-called transparency procedure. Boring. So I'm not against boring because for the, in the short term, I don't really see how we're going to raise the funds we need. Mm -hmm. But I just, I'm against them being the ones declaring the, I just, I just feel unfortunately, we don't trust them enough. So even if we they gave us, we give us figures, them. we don't trust yeah. the figures. Because their heart is not to be transparent. Their heart is not to be accountable. So mm -hmm. they'll find a way to cheat mm -hmm. even the, the so-called system. So what we're looking for more now is, OK, let's deal with the short term. Let them be allowed to borrow. But long term, let's now start saying, why is it that we're not generating revenue? In the past, we used to. It's because of this centralized system. I think we've dealt with this before. Let's find a way to now encourage you know, independent in states to generate revenue for themselves. Well, what, so what, what, what I hear you say yeah. is, we should allow them to borrow. Yes, for the short term. And then term. We'll, we'll think later, <laughs> yeah, later. Think later. about how the revenue yeah. will come. And that is not how no, it we works. Can, I mean, so, 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 I, I, even have, I have yes. two major problems. Yeah. Is one, the size of our reoccurring expenditure. I think that that's one thing that has to be fixed. You can't have, um, an, you can't have hemorrhage. You're bleeding. And they're just pumping blood into you. It's waste. Yeah. Okay. So we're already spending money in the wrong That's direction. Right, the and then we have to first get that straight. Because any money we borrow, we'll spend it in a bad way. So I think those are the things that, you know, this over bloated size of government and all of that, we have to fix that first. Yeah. Reduce, I mean, in companies, when you're trying to increase profitability, one of the first things you try to do is to reduce cost. Yes. Even if you're going to be innovative or anything, is to find a way to reduce cost. Yeah. We have to reduce the cost. And governance. Let, 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 me, let me add which is, which something is the to that. Should I shock yes. you that the size of government employ, employ, uh, employees, in federal government is about 1.2 million, but Less than a hundred thousand are actually civil servants. So wow. that's the ghost workers thing again. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, I guess I guess, <laughs> I guess that, that says it all. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, gosh. As they say, honesty is the best policy, especially when it comes to matters of finance. Since numbers never lie. After the break, which seems to be encouraging us to be true to our natural colour. 